sort of a graduation, like last minute get together. <laughs> Super late. Look, Dick, I shaved everything with the goatee. Half the fun is the planning and the preparation. I know. He's had a day. It's like wow. a little souvenir. Uh, we will share it with you as soon as we can. And I'm not kidding. I can't even. I can't even believe I'm saying this. guys I'm still literally in my jammies and I woke up and I'm getting ready to make breakfast Mike Donnelly is I'll tell you this you guys know about Mike he's he is a fitness guru like not that he knows a lot about fitness he's not like one of those like a fitness professional but he works out six days a week and he looks fantastic and that's his goal is to be strong and healthy and all that stuff however he's complaining about his butt he doesn't have a butt his butt's too flat it's like i gotta work on that i'm like mike i've been telling you for day for weeks now you need to do squats right that's what's gonna get your butt like you know a little bubble butt right so he might okay might is that the goal i have a bubble butt you yes Yes, it is. All right, so come here. I tried to teach him how to squat. So we're gonna we're gonna do a little here. Actually, we'll come right over here. We'll do a little squat practice because I know how to squat. Okay, so this is the thing about squats. So I started to tell him this. I was like, you guys, you have to watch this because it's so flipping funny. Okay, here, look at you. Nice work. All right. So the thing about squats are that you have to. You can't lean forward. And your buns have to go back, right? So I'm gonna do a squat from the side. Right? I'm gonna position my my feet about like a little bit wider than hip distance apart. Okay. okay? Now, <laughs> <laughs> my butt does not need any help. I like right. it so far. Okay. All right. All right. So All right. your knees are gonna go over your toes, not farther in front of your toes. If your knees are going farther in front of your toes, you need to move back more. Okay. okay. So when you bend, your knees stay over your toes, your buns go back, and that is a squat. Like, and then you go back up. <laughs> That's the dumbest thing I've ever seen in my life. Are you kidding? No, you you're this? Doing, no, 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 you're leaning forward. That's the whole problem. That's the whole problem. Do not lean forward. Like, I'm going to stand right here. I want you to, like, position. Yeah. Oh, mm. <laughs> I'm done. Yeah. Okay, okay. There you go. There you go. There you go. And now come back up. Perfect. Do that one more time. No. No, 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 no. You're, try you're trying to not do it. No. No, you're really. Okay, watch. <laughs> no. Oh my gosh. I did it. I did it once in the morning. And then I'm done. You have to do them in a row. Watch. Ready? You're gonna go, let's watch. And my, and my first action when I go to a squat is I move back like this. But my shoulders are still over my knees. <coughs> there you go, and now come back up, come back up, come back up. Squeeze your buns, no, 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 you can't, you gotta squeeze your buns to get back up. Go down, squeeze your buns, <laughs> come back up. Oh my gosh, you're, there you go. Pretty good. Right? <sighs> and maybe your shorts. I think I just, I'm gonna live with a flat ass. Here. No, I no, 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 I don't think you should. You can do squat. There's other things you could do. Would you rather do something different? That's pretty good though, Jill. My squat? Yeah. Well see, that's why I have a big butt. <coughs> you have a perfect butt. Oh, thanks. All right. <sighs> Stay tuned. You know what you could do? Uh huh. You could do what Katie does. She does these. <coughs> oh, okay. Watch. Kate, I don't even think I can do this. This is what Katie does. It's she's crazy. Uh -huh. Okay, watch. And she, okay, she goes, wait, hold on. My knees will probably give out. She goes like this with weights. And she does, oh, I, I can do that. But I mean, that's like a bit, that, that gets your butt right there. It can does. you do that? Yeah, put your, right. put your leg up there. Whoa, oh. whoa, step a little forward more. Don't lean forward, you can't lean forward. There you go, there you go. Mike, see? All right. You can do that with weights, but nice and slow. All right. Try not to lean forward. Try to stand up and try to try to, try to balance. You can, are you for real? No, you're joking. Are you joking? Oh my gosh. Huh? All right. Guys, I'm, so not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure what I'm going to do with him. You might have to get butt surgery. I thought, <laughs> do you know about butt surgery? No. Oh my gosh. Okay. I don't know if you guys know about butt surgery, but let me tell you this. The only reason I know about it is because <laughs> this is, this is crazy. 
I know about it because, you know, we talk about, as flight attendants, we talk about all the different flights, like going from here to there or there to there, there, you get these kind of people or like this flight is a little bit more difficult than others because of whatever. So people have said to me, have you gotten a Miami flight yet? And I'm like, no, I haven't gotten any Miami flights yet. They're like, oh, just wait. Spring flights to, to and from Miami or from Miami are the worst because you have people, and I'm not kidding, I can't even, I can't even believe I'm saying this, but apparently I, it's been corroborated across many, many flight attendants and many, many pilots. People go to Miami to get butt surgery. To get butt surgery. What implants? In the spring. Yes. So literally, this is what they, they I swear. And they describe it like, okay, watch, watch, watch. My flight attendant friends describe it like this. That when the people get back on the airplane to fly back. Uh, okay, you're supposed to sit in an air, sit in a seat like this in the airplane, right? Uh, mm -mm. They're not allowed, they, they don't wait in Miami the six weeks or whatever for it to heal. So when they get on the plane, they walk on and they sit like this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding. I'm like, what? How, like, how do you buckle a seatbelt like that? But apparently that's what <laughs> they do. And that's how you know they've just had butt surgery. I don't believe it. Uh, Michael, I tell you what. I, again, I didn't believe it the first time I was told it. And then it was corroborated, that story, by many different flights, many different pilots and flight attendants. Seriously. I swear to you. You guys, comment below. Do you have you heard of this? Do you have any idea? Like, I think I, I need it though. I blown think I need away. Surgery. So, do, should we send you to Miami to get some butt surgery? <laughs> I mean, that's. Kind have of you had butt surgery? Let us know. I mean, I'm like I'm beside myself. I really do need it though. Well, let, well, then do squat. Don't do, don't do surgery. Just do it the natural way. I think it'd be quicker if I. Well, that it's not about quick. It's about healthy. Do squats. I think I'm gonna look into the surgery. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can get a sponsor, can I? Do you guys have it done? I have no idea. I haven't heard of them saying about I guys. It's time. I think it's time. It's, it's time for you to have butt surgery. <laughs> oh, help me. Help me, people. Mike and I are about to get on a Zoom call with somebody or a few people who we can't tell you about now, but you guys will find out about it soon. I can't tell you how excited I am about this. Are you excited? Half the fun is the planning and the preparation. I know, I know, I know, I know. We're gonna get more details. We don't know the details of this yet, but this is an idea that was presented to us and sounds like, like if we wanna say yes, we could say yes. We just have to get all the details of yeah. it. And uh, we will share it with you as soon as we can. So I have a hint. Oh, oh. I think we're. Gonna I might have to bleep this out. Our bathing suits. Okay, okay, all right. That's true. I think we would need our bathing suits for this one. Okay. Just saying. Okay, so stay tuned, you guys. I probably won't be in this video, <laughs> but it might be in a couple of videos from now. So we'll find out all that, all the good details. Yes. All right. Thank you. Bye. Wish us luck. Right, the family's all together. Well, not all. Katie's not here. But at least we got Ryan working over there on his Bright Future Scholarship. Dad's <laughs> massaging himself. So. Yeah, yeah, hey, <laughs> all right. You know what I'm like the guy on? What? There's a scene in the Carousel of Progress. <laughs> Where Madge or someone is, oh, the girl is talking with the thing. And now I sound like her. You do sound like, so I'm just going to explain to you what's happening here. Dad uh, has a massage gun and he has a, bare, a little bit of a sore a back. A little bit of a bad back, Jill. I'm trying to help him do the squats and the stretching and all that stuff that's going to make it better. But instead he's just. Yeah, it's really kind of weird. <laughs> Brendan, can you help your father? Uh, <laughs> let's be honest, he's off the deep end. He is off the deep end. my nose too. <laughs> Weird, very weird. All right, well. Ryan's also writing thank you notes to, where are they? Did you take them upstairs? No, they disappeared. Uh, but okay, do that first. And then thank you notes for his graduation gifts. Ryan and I are very feverishly putting together a graduation party for him. He's actually mm -hmm. got two graduation parties. Super today. late, super last home? minute in uh, Donnelly fashion. <laughs> We're thinking a little pool party. And some pina coladas and strawberry daiquiris. Virgin, of uh, course, because they're 18. Correct. And Dad will just going to whip them up. He, Mike has a Margaritaville, like, um, what do you call it? A 
a daiquiri blend machine. It. Like a, a, yeah, a cool blend that is awesome. that like brings the ice and mixes it all <laughs> and makes it into a cool. So he's, we have at our pool, at our community pool, there's like a bar. So he's going to stand there and he's going to whip up daiquiris yeah. and everything and, and pina coladas for the kids. So it's our job to plan that today. It's in two days. <laughs> Super late. Look, Dick, I shaved everything with the goatee. Oh, you're doing it. Did you notice? Well, I did not notice, but now that you pointed yeah. out, so you're going to grow a little... Little goatee? Who knows? You know, I'm just experimenting. Exactly. Seeing see what I like. That's fun. Okay. That's All the right. that's the move for today, though. I like it. Um, okay. Yeah, and then I got that, and I'm gonna turn my uh, hours in that I filled out. Good and for going, your bright future scholarship. And then I'm going to a concert tonight. Fantastic. I'm going to a Bad Bunny concert. I don't listen to Bad Bunny. <laughs> I don't even know. But that I know some people nervous. that do. To be honest. It's a Mexican pop star. Okay. Bad Bunny. And. We get VIP tickets because my friend's dad has them. And so we're going to go park like right by the stadium. We're going to Amelie Arena in Tampa and then go up to a little sweet box. It's going to be awesome. Free food, free drinks. <laughs> Great. Excellent. Oh, someone's calling. <laughs> Sorry. See you guys. All right, you guys, you got to know that I love throwing a party. So I just went to the party store, Michael John, uh -huh. and got the party stuff for our last minute graduation party for Ryan. Wanna see what I got? Absolutely. Okay, you guys, listen, I don't want to um, make fun of Mike's meal, but it smells like banana bread in here, but he actually heated up. Is that canned spinach? Canned spinach. Delicious. And he mixed it with my, I make this like cowboy caviar, like bean and corn and tomato salad. And he mixed it and I, it's just, Really good. Wow. Okay. <laughs> okay. So this is the deal. The party itself is going to be a graduation party, but it's a graduation pool party. And we're like, you know, when you have a party, you throw a party, you have to have like something that's special about the party, like either an activity that you do or food they eat, something like that. So Ryan and I were talking, we're like, well, yeah, and I think we told you guys earlier, like, yeah, we'll do like frozen drinks. Like Mike can run the bar and do frozen virgin, so non-alcoholic. Um, daiquiris and or pina coladas, you get to pick. Which one? We yeah. said daiquiri party, but it doesn't matter. They don't know the difference, I don't think, whatever. Yeah. Right? Okay. So that being said, I got 25 wow. daiquiri glasses, hurricane <laughs> glasses, all different colors. How fun is that? <laughs> so uh, that'll be fun when they walk in the party and they'll see them like all lined up, right? It's, first of all, it's a great decoration. And second of all, everybody gets their own glass to take home with them. It's like wow. a little souvenir. Mm -hmm. Right? Nice. So that's, that's fun. And then to go with the, the cups, hold on. I think those are the only colors, right? Those, those four colors. To go with the cups, we got, well, stay tuned, fancy straws. Oh, uh, gotta have fancy straws. Gotta have fancy straws. So we have straws with um, flamingos, which are my favorite, and then okay. straws with umbrellas, mm -hmm. right? Girl straws, boy straws. Then we got, this is to decorate the table. It like, it, it's a round like thing like that. So we'll put that on the food table. Congrats, grad. And then we got these little hangy things. Like you pull them and they hang and they say, congrats, grad. We'll put that around the bar. Tink, tink, tink. Nice. Hang those there. Then we got a tablecloth. Oh. For the main table where all the food's gonna go, it has little yeah. um, graduation hats on it. It was kind of interesting combining like the graduation theme with the pool theme, but the colors made it all work out. See, so that's good. Gorgeous. Thank you. And then we went with the green plates because their school is green and it matches all the stuff. The green napkin. Oh, I've got to have them. Yes. The forks because I think they only are going to need forks. Yeah, so we have our bags and bags and bags with 25 of these stuff. So I think it's gonna be a great party. Ryan and I are at the Sam's Club getting everything ready for his graduation party. We're gonna be making what? Walking tacos. Yup. Watermelon. Yeah. Cookies. Yeah. Well, we're not making the cookies. We're 84. Buying. We actually bought 84 of them. Are there 84 cookies in it there? It said 84 counts. Sweet. That's a lot of cookies. We've got eight pounds of beef. We need to get some taco seasoning. So, and a little laundry detergent. So we have to go get the um, bags of Doritos mm -hmm. and some cheese. Fritos. Oh, are you, you want Fritos? Are, I'm a Frito well, you, do you, I'm a total Frito guy. I didn't then, know you were a Dorito girl. Uh, I'm a Frito girl. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a Frito girl, well, but some people Fritos? are Doritos. 
Well, yeah. So we get both, yeah. Well, let's see what they have. Sometimes they have a mix. Sometimes they have just one. Okay. All right. Let's figure let's it out. Let's go do that. So we just dropped Nan and Pap at the airport because they are heading back up north. And we are preparing for this little, just sort of a graduation, like, last minute get together that I think is going to turn into something bigger than... We always are like, oh, we'll just have a few people over and then sure. it turns into like kind of a big deal, which yeah. is really fun. We love doing this. Brian's last time at his high school. Literally my last time I was still putting here. Oh. <laughs> kind of crazy. We came to deliver flowers to one of his teachers who helped us a lot. All right, I'm going to put the camera away because we're at school. Bye. All right, we're doing a quick turn. Ryan and I came home with the groceries. We left Ryan's school. Now Brennan's getting in the car. He and dad are taking the car to the airport because Brennan is flying back to school. Both the places that he works are now open. Right, Brennan, is, your, is the, the bar open again? Correct. It is? Oh, yeah. Okay, here you go. Wait, you can put the top on that. There's your water. Oh, Jody, thank you so much. You're welcome. I love you. <laughs> I love you too. I'm gonna miss you. It was fun having you here, but we'll see you in two weeks, right? Yeah, it's really not gonna be long. Yeah. At all. Okay. Go make so, some money. Yeah, I need to go Study make some for money. the LSATs. Yeah. <laughs> so this is what happened sometimes. Brendan was supposed to fly back to Tallahassee today, and I listed him on another airline. So Mike drove him up to Tampa and dropped him off, and then his flight kept being delayed and delayed, and then his flight was canceled. And there are no other flights. Well, there were some other flights available, but they were also delayed, so then they wouldn't make, they wouldn't catch their um, connections. So Brennan has no other options today to get to Tallahassee. He's supposed to work tomorrow. So I came up to the airport to get him. I drove to Tampa and I'm picking him up now. He should be coming out here any minute now. There is a flight tomorrow morning that they said there are 45 seats on. So hopefully he'll get a chance to be on that flight. We're going to bring him up early in the morning and um, hopefully he'll fly then directly to Tallahassee tomorrow morning. So I'll be getting him any minute now. I'm here waiting for him to come out. He said he's on his way downstairs. I hope he sees me where I am. Sometimes it's hard to find each other at the airport. Mm -hmm. There he comes. <laughs> he's had a day. Man, he's had a lot of days at airports. Hi. You're very familiar with airports these days. Yeah, I am. You guys know if he, I don't know if we filmed it the other day, but he was literally a lot of time in these guys. at the Baltimore airport for 13 hours waiting for a flight. Oh, my eyes are so itchy. Waiting for a flight to come home. And today was six hours? Uh, or five hours? Oh my God. Yeah, five hours. Okay. All right. Well, let's go eat.